Hello there friends! In this video, we're going to do some total body stretching. Stretching is really awesome because it boosts your circulation, increases your mobility, puts you into a better mood. It can also strengthen your body, help you become more aware of your body, your spatial awareness, your proprioception. <sighs> it's relaxing. It can help you let go of tension, relax your muscles, and so many other wonderful things. We're going to be stretching, like I said, the full body, our heads to our toes, and it's going to be wonderful. So let's begin. And so to start with our head, just soften your face, relax your forehead. You could even put your hand over your forehead. This is called the frontalis muscle. You can just give some gentle pressure. And feel that muscle relaxing. And while we do the stretching, it's really good to take deep breaths, deep belly breaths. So let's try that now. Let's breathe in our belly, feeling our chest expand, feeling our belly expand, and then release. Feeling the air go out from our belly and from our chest. All right. So soften your face, relax your jaw. You can gently massage by your temples. I feel your jaw relax gently. Allow your jaw to drop as you massage right around by your ears, whatever feels good to you. It could be kind of in front of the ears or it kind of be below your ears. <sighs> gently relax that jaw, relax your cheeks. Just feel your face soften. Mm, doesn't that feel good? All right, now we're going to move on to our neck. So very gently look to one side. I'm looking to the left. Hold that. Try to relax your shoulders. Let your shoulders drop away from your ears. Continue to soften the face, soften the jaw. Now we're going to turn our head and look in the other direction. Back to center, gently drop your jaw, drop your head, excuse me, towards your chest. And then gently bring your head back up through center and then lift your head so you're looking up. Back to center. Now let's do some neck rolls. So choose a direction. Gently roll your neck. Don't push yourself so hard that you feel like you're in any kind of pain. Listen to your body. Listen to what feels good to you. All of this stretching should feel good. It's a way to thank your body. It's a way to love your body, to become reconnected with your physical body. All right, now let's switch, go the other direction with our neck rolls. It's really good here to just listen to your breath. Pay attention to your breath. During these stretches, if there's a hard, a difficult part of the stretch, it's good to relax with an exhale and let that exhale give you a little gentle push into that stretch. All right, so now we're going to lower our head, tilt it so that our ear is turning towards the shoulder on one side. And then take the arm on the opposite side of your body and flex it. And that should really help open up 
this part of the neck and even part of the shoulder. Try to really keep your shoulder down. Continue to flex that opposite hand. Just breathe in deeply. And remember that you love yourself, that you are here for yourself right now in this beautiful self-care stretching. During your exhale, just gently drop your head a bit more. You can even take, you know, this hand, gently place it over your head. And just relax, let go. Whatever things trouble your mind, just let go of them for right now. They'll still be there after this video. But for now, let's just be present. Let's be grateful that we're here, that we're living beautiful lives, and just have that assurance within yourself that everything is going to work out, everything will be okay. Okay, let's go to the other side now. So gently tilt your head, gently drop it. You can immediately go ahead if you choose. Take your hand, help it to relax. Take the opposite hand, flex it. Keep the shoulder down. Gently open up through this whole area. Let go of the tension. If you, you know, sit at a desk or spend a lot of time with your computer or your phone, you might be putting tension on your neck. You might be putting your neck out of alignment. And this stretching is really going to help put your back into alignment. Take some deep breaths here, friends. As we go through this video, try to gently lengthen your breaths. Pay more attention to them. because you are alive and it's glorious. And with your breathing, you are proclaiming that you are alive, that you are here, that you are present, that you are showing up for yourself. You are letting go of whatever tension might have been in your system, but you're letting it go now. All right. So now that we've hopefully relaxed the head, the face, the neck, let's get into our shoulders. So gently do some shoulder rolls backwards. And while we do this, let's think of one thing that we're grateful for today. Could be our friends, could be our housing, could be something very specific like a cool email you got, or a beautiful flower you saw, or something exciting that's happened. All right, now let's switch. And just think about how grateful you are for that. And just stay in that space of gratitude. Maybe you're grateful that you're here right now. I'm more as grateful that I'm here right now. It is a beautiful thing to be here, to know that you're giving your body the loving care, kindness, and tenderness it deserves. All right, now let's gently lift our arms up if you can, and let's make some big arm circles. You can get your chest and your back into it, so let me demonstrate from this side. So as you go forward, you can, you know, round your back a little bit, feel your upper back. And then when you reach up, ah, oh, your chest stretching. And that's all glorious. It's all beautiful. You have a beautiful body and we are engaging in some beautiful stretching now. Opening up your heart in this position and then 
allowing your upper back to open up, allowing your shoulders to separate. All right. Now let's take one of our arms and bring it across the body. You can use your elbow, the other elbow, to hook it in and drop this shoulder that you're stretching. Drop it from your ears. Continue to relax your neck. Just breathe deeply here. Hopefully you've been continuing to breathe deeply, regardless of whether I say it or not, but I'm glad I can give you gentle reminders to breathe deeply. And as you exhale, try to drop the shoulder back a little bit more and feel the stretch not only in the shoulder, but also in some of the upper back, the rear deltoid here. If you want to get a little more creative with the stretch, you can do a gentle twist. And you can also feel it in your waist. And if you do a twist, try to maintain your form, which is like, be grounded. You know, keep both sit bones on the floor, on the ground, on the earth. And then gently twist. Okay, now, so the other side, you can gently wiggle your arms, gently roll your shoulders, relax. Now I'll go to the other side, take your, I'm doing my left arm now, I'm taking it across the body, using my right elbow to hook it in. Then I'm going to relax the shoulder, my left shoulder away from my ear, and gently twist. And with this, you also do a counter stretch and twist the other way. You can keep twisting if you'd like. Just gently see how that feels like. You might turn on your core muscles in order to maintain both sitting, sit bones, sitting on the floor. You can play with that. I think that stretching is best when it's playful when you're engaging with your body and seeing what does this feel like? And if I hold this, or if I think about this, or think about this muscle and stretching, what does that feel like? All right, now let's stretch a little bit of the triceps. I'm gonna move here so you can see me a little better. And so lift one of your arms, gently bend it so that your hand is sticking towards the center of your back, or you can choose the opposite side, the opposite shoulder, or you can choose the current shoulder, pick whichever one feels good to you, or you can kind of move back and forth if you choose. It's up to you. And then you can take the other arm and gently help uh, to push that elbow back. Relax. While you're doing this, it's really tempting to kind of lean forward. That's not really good alignment, so try to keep your neck up, straight, a long, tall, beautiful, but also relaxed neck. And try to keep your head in line with your neck so you're not like jutting yourself forward. I know that's difficult to do. So work at your level. You know, if you can't quite touch your hand all the way to your back, that's okay. You know, we're all somewhere. And it's more important to be where you are than to just not even bother. It's all worth it in our journey of health. All right, so now we can gently relax the arms down and take the opposite hand, opposite arm. I'm taking my left arm now. Gently pick it up. You know, shove your arm close to your ear. Bend it back. Feel free to watch me if you're not sure what I'm saying. <laughs> Meredith, um, nervous kind of thing. So my directive might not be like react first. And again, feel free to reach the palm of this hand to the center of your back, to the opposite shoulder, to the current shoulder. You can kind of just play with this idea of what feels 
the front area of stair whack. And then try to relax your face, relax your neck, relax your shoulders. And as always, take some beautiful deep breaths in. All right. So next, let's move downward our arms. And we can do a bit of bicep stretching. So to do that, you can flex one arm and then push it to the side. And then kind of separate, move your body away from it. And at first you might feel kind of like a chest stretch, which is also really good. But do the bicep stretch, look at my hand and let's see I turn it away from my body while it stays flexed. And then I will push the arm away from me or push myself away from my arm. And you should feel your biceps stretching out. So we stretched our triceps, which are pretty common. I think in stretching routines, but also it's gonna stretch your biceps so that way you are relaxed, you're open on both sides of the upper arm. Because sometimes, you know, Mary wants to stretch her whole body, not just pick certain ones. So this video is may with that intention of stretching your total body. Obviously not going to do every single stretch there is, but trying to hit as many muscles, muscle groups, and joints as we can, you know, reasonably can. All right. Now slowly bring the arm back so it's in front of you. Let's just do a few wrist circles. Let's take our other arm and gently kind of massage that upper arm because we love our upper arms. We love all parts of our bodies and we do love our upper arm. Let's give it a little bit of a shake and then we'll go to the other side. All right. So again, I'm going to bring my left arm out this time. I'm going to flex my hand back and I'm going to push it away from me. And here you can feel your chest stretch, which is a wonderful place to be. And then I'm going to move my arm back. So I'm going to get more of a bicep stretch. Now, of course, if these stretches, if they feel like a bit too intense, like for you to hold your arm up, you can position yourself. Like maybe you can rest your hand like this. You can still get that nice flex of your hand and the nice stretch in your biceps. Um, so feel free to modify any stretches so that you can do them because that's important it's more important to meet yourself where you are than it would be to like feel bad that you can't follow along or give up on yourself yeah. you can play with this idea a little bit play with this stretch kind of move back and forth see how that feels all right that was pretty good so now let's do a little bit more relaxed, playful movements with our arm. Let it give a little shakes, give a little massage, mm, because we love ourselves. All right, so now let's get a little more into the wrist, because um, a lot of people experience strain on their wrist because they're at a computer. I mean, that's the main reason, right? <laughs> Because we're at a computer and we don't have the best form when we're working away, you know. It can really aggravate our wrist. And also I think a lot of people in general don't really take the time to stretch out their wrist. So it's kind of like something that's missing, you know. So we're just doing some gentle wrist circles. Hopefully this feels really good. If it doesn't feel good, then feel free to not, you know, flex your wrist as much. Sometimes if my wrist hurt, I'll just grab the wrist with the other hand and give it like a gentle compression. And that feels really good from there. So you can do that at any point, just kind of grip the wrist. Don't hurt yourself, obviously, but like, you know, like a gentle, firm compression. Definitely not to the point of injury or pain. Um, we don't want to injure ourselves. 
Anyway. All right, so now let's get into some more deeper wrist stretching. And to do this, we're gonna get into, you know, an all fours position, like so. And then just, if you can, um, kind of move your body over your wrist. So your, your fingers are still pointing forward. And just gently rock back and forth, however you feel comfortable. And now let's move the wrist outward, if you can. So now they're facing the other side. And now let's gently do like a circular wave motion where you can see I am moving my body so that I am rounding my back as I move myself backwards and I move forward. I kind of gently have a gentle arch. All right. I'll do the other opposite direction of this circle. All right. And now if you can, move your wrist all the way back so that they're facing you. Let's gently rock back and forth. It's okay if your wrists come up when you're going back. You know, it all depends, of course, on how flexible you are. Um, so just work wherever you're at. Now we can do some circles, some gentle circles. It's okay if you lose your balance. It's okay. Whatever you're doing, it's okay. Don't be hard on yourself. This is a place where we can love ourselves, not judge ourselves, not shame ourselves. All right. You can do a few little gentle wrist circles. Feel free to grab your wrist gently as needed. Hopefully that feels good. Um, now let's bring in our wrist so that our arms are coming together. Here, I'll show you like this. Yeah, you can see this. So arms are coming together gently back and forth. It's also really good to strengthen your wrist so you don't have an injured wrist later. I know carpal tunnel syndrome is pretty common, unfortunately. But if we use exercises, we're not only stretching, we're also strengthening. Okay, if you can, flip your wrist so that your palm is facing upward. If you can't, that's okay too. Just keep doing something else for your wrist. Or just look at me <laughs> and wait to move on to the next thing. But hopefully you're engaging in some kind of therapeutic activity for your wrist. All right. And now I wanna kind of move our shoulders a little bit because shoulder injuries are really common, especially like rotator cuff injuries. So let's kind of have our hands out, our arms are bent at a 90 degree angle at our elbow, our palms are facing up like we're about to, you know, someone's about to put a tray in our hands or something. Now gently move your arms outward and back. And this is a really good exercise to increase the mobility of our shoulders so that we don't get a rotator cuff injury. And it's also good stretching to just feel the stretch in our shoulders. So when you move it back, you can kind of gently squeeze your shoulder blades together if that feels good. You can kind of round, you know, as you come forward, if you choose. Or you can keep it a really simple motion. In fact, that would even require more flexibility in the shoulders to keep it a simple motion and not move your back as much. All right, and now let's lift our arms here, like goal post arms, and let them fall, and let them come back up. And like I said, a lot of these stretches are also strengthening exercises. So hopefully you feel that in your shoulder joint. Just gentle movement. All right, let's gently relax our arms. And now again, even more of a deeper shoulder stretch. Let's skirt up. Gently laying yourself back onto your elbows, if you can do this. Um, keep your neck up. Your head is facing forward. And then gently move, drop your knees to one side. If it feels good, keep them there. Or you're welcome to windshield wiper it out and move them to the other side. 
whatever feels good to you and really feel your shoulders relaxing feel them opening up and if you've never been in this position before it can be kind of exciting see what does this feel like sometimes it can bring up feelings of nervousness or anxiety if you're not familiar with position and you're not sure if your body can handle it or it just feels strange and foreign to you so this is a good practice if you haven't done this before to be open like feel of course this stretch you're literally your heart is open <laughs> but like so take advantage of that feel open what does this feel like allow yourself to become vulnerable and allow yourself to feel to try these new positions all right gently 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 come back up so now let's do some cat cow stretches to do that get into a tabletop you know we're on all fours we're on our our wrists are stacked underneath our shoulders our knees are stacked underneath our hips and we'll begin by breathing in and looking forward, allowing our belly to drop, our back to arch, taking that good oxygen. And then we will go into the opposite position. So we'll be rounding our back, bringing our head down and gazing at our navel. Of course, Mara's wearing a mini skirt that kind of covers her navel, but she can kind of look where her navel would be. So continue to go through these motions, looking up, arching your back, letting your belly drop, inhaling. Then the opposite, rounding your back, gazing at your navel, and exhaling. And then when you're ready, go back to a, ta a neutral back position, tabletop position. And then we're going to kind of turn to one side as though we were looking at our tail if we had a tail so you can see I am turning into my left side and then go back to your neutral tabletop position and then we'll go on the other side look at uh, I'm stretching out my left side and I am scrunching in my right side this should feel really good so gently go back and forth so inhale, go to center, exhale, crunch that side, body, and then you can stay here for a couple of breaths or you can keep going back and forth. Your choice, whatever feels good for you. If you haven't done this before, you might want to just kind of stay on one side for a while to kind of get used to it. Or you can go back and forth if that feels better to you. So hopefully I'm able to give some guidance as we do these exercises together. But then hopefully you're also able to listen to your body and see what feels good, what do I need to spend more time focusing on, what kind of things should I modify, you know. All right, let's gently bring ourselves up so that we are sitting down on our sit bones and let's gently rotate our wrists a little bit because that was kind of intense on our wrists. Now we did stretch them beforehand but still let's give our wrists some love. <sighs> Alright now we're going to stretch our back a little bit more intensely. Um, so you know do what feels comfortable to you. If you want to stick with the tabletop that's the cat cow that's great otherwise let's go down onto our belly and then let's lift up and, and stretch our legs out long have your hands by your chest and let's gently lift up into our baby cobra so we're lifting up our upper body we're looking up or at least looking forward and our upper back is coming up and we're going to keep you know our legs down 
kind of push into the, the front of the suit, into the floor. Try to keep your shoulders and your elbows tucked in. If you can, you can go a little bit further. You know, do what feels good to you. Don't push yourself too hard. You can gently press into your hands. Feel your back arch more. Feel yourself rising up more. Okay, now let's go back down. Whew. All right. Let's just do a gentle wave motion. Now let's kind of explore the different levels of Cobra. So inhale to rest and exhale to fall. Oh, they also welcome to exhale to rise and inhale to fall. But whatever you do, pay attention to your breath. Um, I know a lot of people will say you should exhale as you push out and inhale to release. But sometimes I find that's confusing for me. I do the opposite. It just feels more comfortable and more natural. So, you know, listen to your body. All right, now let's try to hold a nice cobra pose or a baby cobra pose, wherever you're at. And wherever you're on your cobra pose, gently look, turn your head to look over your left shoulder. And you might want to kind of lean your body to the right as you look over your left shoulder. Feel like a stretch there and now let's go the other direction. Gently maybe lean your hips to the left as you look over your right shoulder. Whew. Doesn't some good work for your shoulders. Mary's noticing. All right, I'll gently go up. And let's take it back to a child's pose. So that means we're going to send our hips back so that they're over our ankles. And then we're gonna stretch oh. our hands out, stretch our arms out long, and just feel the release. And while we're in this position, let's think of one more thing that we're grateful for. Could be a good friend. Could be something beautiful you've seen. Can be yourself. It can be anything you want it to be. A cold fur disc you've tried. Some good news you've received. Let's just hold that space of gratitude. Slowly, gently bring our arms up as we lift our upper body. And just relax. Just let's do some more playful movement. Lift our shoulders. Maybe ooh, move our neck a little bit. Just soften, relax everything. All right. And now let's go back to the tabletop. Let's go forward a little bit. Gently feel the wrist strengthening. And then let's go back. But this time let's tuck our toes in and let's lift up. We're pushing off into a downward facing dog. And while you're here, you can um, bend one knee then bend the other. This is especially good if you're not that experienced in downward facing dog and maybe you have, you know, like maybe your calves are a little tight or your hamstrings a little tight. And then when you're ready, you can push both heels down, maybe lift the toes up a little bit. And just gently relax this position. I find that my <laughs> arms always slip a little bit, so I'm always trying to bring them in a little bit. But my arms don't slip away too much from me. Relax and breathe. And then if you're ready, you can go forward and do a little chaturanga. 
or you can drop to your knee, it's up to you. You can do a knee chaturanga. So I'll show you what chaturanga looks like. So you can really lower yourself down and then lift up into an upward facing dog. Or, you know, conversely, you can just drop to your knees and then do a little chaturanga there. Or just, you can drop to your knees and just get comfortable. Let me drop to your elbows and gently swish your body wherever you are. Let's gently move our hips from side to side. And that should feel really good. But we're gonna go work on our hips some more now. <laughs> Cause at least for women, we tend to hold a lot of tension in our hips. We store a lot of discomfort here. And of course they can get tight if you're sitting, you know, at a desk all day. All right. So let's first start in a cross-legged position. And let's lift our arms up and then let's walk them forward. And we should feel that in our hips, try to keep both sit bones down on the floor. Let's take some deep breaths here. And then let's walk our hands over to one side. I'm choosing my left side. And then again, try to keep both sitting bones down. And just feel the stretch in your back, but also continue to feel the stretch in your outer hips. And then let's go to the other side. I'm gonna go to my right side. Just feel that beautiful stretch of our side body, more into our shoulders and upper back, and of course, our hips. All right, now let's walk back to center. And then we're gonna switch which leg is on top. So take the other leg. And this might feel really weird to you because most people have a preferred way of sitting cross-legged. But we're just gonna play with this experience. And again, surrender, let go, let your body ease into these stretching positions. So let's stretch our arms out. Take some deep breaths. And then walk over, walk the hands over to one side. Feel that stretch. And again, use your exhales here if you choose, so you can breathe in. And then as you exhale, kind of melt more into your position, if you can. Now let's walk over to the other side. Back to the center. You can drop to your elbows. Just let go. If you can put your palms up, if they were normally, you know, we put our palms down. Put your palms up, just play with how that feels like. Like you're letting go. Like you're offering something, offering yourself. You know, back to your body, being present for yourself. Giving yourself your presence. Your loving, beautiful, sweet presence. Just gently lean from one side to the other. How does this feel like? Hopefully you feel super relaxed now. Let's lean forward a little bit. Again, try to keep your sitting bones down. In this weird position, let's lean back a little bit. And again, it's weird because we switched, you know, how we normally sit cross-legged. But kind of play with this. Let's do little circles. We lean forward and we go to one side when we lean back. Whew. And then go to the next side and move forward again. Leaning back. See what this feels like. Does it feel exciting and playful? Does it feel kind of scary? Hopefully it doesn't feel boring. <laughs> I might will take any answer except boring. If you're bored, you can just, you know, add your own style to it. Oh, you're very welcome to play some music, of course. You know, sing, talk to your friends. You can do this video with your friends, in fact. And now let's kind of circle one way and then let's stop. This is a good core challenge. And then go the other way. And then I wonder if you can do like a 
figure eight stretch. So go forward and then do a little diagonal. And then come forward again, diagonal back, forward, diagonal back. See what this feels like. And now let's switch directions. So diagonal forward and go back, diagonal forward. Feel free to watch me if you're not sure what you're doing. Hopefully you are watching me because, you know, this is Mary's video. <laughs> And I'm facing the screen, so hopefully you're facing the screen, too. Alright. Hopefully that feels good. Let's try to stretch up tall. Stretch our hands up high in the sky. A little bit of shaking. Then bring our arms down so that they are parallel to the ground. And let's gently turn to one side. I'm turning to my right side. Whew. Exhale as you go back to center. Inhale to the other side. Oh, what a good stretch. And remember, keep your sitting bones down, both of them down. You need to have a good foundation. <sighs> Exhale back. Inhale to twist. <sighs> Exhale back. And if this is too hard to lift your arms up like that, you can bring your arms in so it's a little bit less, you know, for your shoulders to carry. Or you can just have your hands down. But if you can, you know, it's really great to have your arms all the way out, parallel. That's really, really good for your body. All right. Okay, so now let's go a little more into our hips and our back. So let's go down onto our back very gently, very lovingly. Move on to your back. And let's tuck our knees in. And let's gently roll from side to side. Feel a nice massage, especially for your lower back. Maybe your lower back's a little tense because it might not be used to all the awesome stretches we did already. It's a good way to just relax, to release. All right. And now let's lengthen our legs. Then put our arms out like um, at a T. And then bring one knee in. I'm bringing in my right knee. And then take up your, if you're bringing in your right knee, take your left arm, grab your right knee, and then gently move it to the left side of your body. Try to keep your right shoulder pressing firmly into the ground. And then we're just gonna take a twist. Oh, that should feel so good in your lower back. Just release. If you have your palms turned up, that's wonderful. I recommend you do that if you aren't already. You can, you can choose to keep your left hand by your right thigh. Maybe do a little bit of loving squeezes, a little massage. Massage your hip area a little bit. Or you can also just lay that arm out too. And surrender. Let go. Whatever tension you're holding in your lower back. Let's think about one thing, just acknowledge one thing that might be concerning for us. Not to ruminate on it, just to acknowledge it, to see it, to see whatever thought may be bothering us. Maybe a deadline's coming up or something, or there's a conflict going on, a confrontation that must be made. Just kind of see it outside. Of yourself and then as you stretch just kind of imagine it floating away like it's not here to stay in us and create tension we can just acknowledge it look at it almost like we're looking at it from a museum like here's exhibit a your worry and just kind of see it and then just like walk away from the exhibit all right and that's Gently roll back onto our backs and let's switch sides. So stretch your right leg out long, take in your left knee. Mm, give it a hug because mm, we love our knees. We love our shins. We love our hips. All right, stretch your left arm out long to our T. Then gently use your right hand to push your left leg down. Push your knee down to the ground. Keep that left shoulder pressing into the floor and then here can give our 
back thigh, some loving pats, squeezes, little massages. Or we can just hold out a T, our palms are open. And if that worrying thought we brought up is still bothering you, you can use your breath that as you inhale, you inhale peace and you exhale out the word and visualize it being farther away. And if you already feel good, like, yeah, I pushed that baby away, it's not gonna bother me. Now we can think of something positive, like an affirmation, like, I am loved. So just say it out loud or think it to yourself. I am loved. And let's hold that space. So what does it feel like? If that is our ultimate truth, that we are loved so dearly, so preciously. We can move our head back and forth a little bit. That feels good. Massage the neck a little bit. <sighs> this is your happy place. This is our time for self-care, acknowledging our amazing, wonderful, beautiful bodies that do so much for us every day, that wake us up in the morning, that carry us through our day. Oh, let's just feel a huge thank you for our bodies for doing so much for us, even when we're not the kindest to our bodies. All right, so let us gently get into a fetal position and gently push up. And now we're gonna do it. Oh. Let's just stretch our arms up and let's inhale as we stretch. Try to have a long torso, long, firm, upright posture, feeling powerful. Stretch out your fingers. And let's exhale, drop our arms down. All right, so now for this next pose, you might want to grab a blanket or a pillow. If you have a sensitive knees, Mare has sensitive knees, so Mare gets it. And let's gently, you know, put the pillow underneath our knees. Get into a nice tabletop position. And then let's lift one of the knees up, stretch one of the legs back. So I'm stretching my right leg back. Let's gently lean back and forth. And when you lean back, you should feel it in your calf muscle. Then when you lean forward, you can kind of relax that area. So let's gently back, forward, back, forward. And now let's just stay back and feel that stretch in our calf. Oh, that feels good. And if you can, try to bring the calf all the way down, to the, or bring the heel all the way down to the ground rather. And if you can, you can even lift your right knee into your chest. And that will be a really good way to engage your core. You can bring your wrist lower or closer to your body, not they're stacked um, under your shoulders. Try to really open up your shoulder girdle. Uh, so strong upper back, strong core. All right, now let's lower and let's do the other side. So, Stretch out your right leg and we stretch, lean back, we feel our calf, lean forward, release, lean back, release. All right, now let's lean back if you can. Oh, stretch, bring your heel all the way down, bring your left knee up, adjust your arms. <laughs> And this is a really wonderful exercise because you're opening up your shoulder girdle while you're strengthening your wrist, while you're stretching out your right calf, while you're strengthening your core, while you're increasing your mobility, you're stretching your left hamstring by tucking it in. All right, now let's release. <sighs> Might wanna gently stretch your shoulders Ugh, a little bit. That was really good. I, Mare is proud of you. If you did that, good for you. Mm. <sighs> so good, so good, beautiful people. <sighs> All right. All right, 
right now. I want to go back into that lunge position, but this time we're going to do a little different one. So let's bring, let's run our tabletop position. Let's bring our left foot to the outside of our left hand. Let's stretch our right leg out long. And you see I have both, let me switch over here. You see I have both hands on one side. And then I have this leg, my right leg stretched out long. All right, now if you can, tuck in your toes and just lift. And you should feel a really good stretch in your hip flexor, where as I said earlier, women and other people as well, I'm sure, tend a lot of tension there. Just gonna really rock back and forth. See what this feels like? You can drop this left knee away if that feels good. You can come down onto your elbows if that feels good. Try to keep a natural, um, you know, shape of your spine. So don't round too much or um, arch too much. Just be like a natural, comfortable position. Just really rock back and back to drop, rock from side to side and then back and forth. As feels comfortable, but you don't need to let your shoulder curl to open up but don't round your back too much. Just be in a really comfortable position. So if that means this is the best you can do with your knee down and your knee up, then do it. Do what feels good to you. Hopefully it feels really good too. Just release that hip flexor. Ah, oh, I know it feels really wonderful right now. Oh, Mary hopes you feel wonderful too. All right, now we'll gently transition to the other side. Gently bring your other leg back in so that you're on tabletop. If you have to, take a break, you know, stretch out your shoulders, certainly your wrists. Anytime you need a break, listen to your body, whether it's stretching your shoulders, stretching your wrist, stretching your back, whatever it is. You know, take care of yourself. All right, so the other side. Feel free to go right into whatever position feels good to you. You know, choose your level of mobility. Whatever level you choose, it's good. Even if it's like lower than your usual mobility, that's still good. <laughs> Doing anything is better than nothing. Let's just kind of play around. What does this feel like? Back and forth, side by side, and just feel your body opening. If you feel really tight, it could be because mentally you're tight or emotionally you're tight. So if you feel really tight, try to release something that's been bothering you. Maybe that means you forgive someone who's hurt you. Maybe you forgive yourself. You know, give yourself grace. Feel your heart open. You can try to do the palms up. That might be kind of harder to do. I mean, it'd be a good stretch for your rest. And just like feel yourself open, feel yourself letting go. Let go of perfectionism, let go of bitterness. Feel your heart open, feel yourself having kindness for people. All right, let's lower to a gentle upward dog. As you can see. Ah, just release, release. Now let's go back to a downward facing dog. Lift our hips up high. Oh, and just release. And let's think of someone that you really love. Maybe it's yourself. Hopefully it's yourself. Hopefully there are a lot of people that you love. Yourself, your partner, your friend, your parent. And just feel that love. The love that you feel for that person. Feel it go back into your body and like you're holding on to all this warmth. Maybe you visualize it as pink or red or purple, but just feel it. Feel the love you feel for someone else. Feel it back in your body and let this love help you to release tension, to get into a deeper stretch. So like really try to push in this position, try to push your head between your shoulders, push the ground away from you. Try to lift up your toes. Just release. All right, let's go back to a tabletop position and then sitting up. All right, let's go on our back for some more stretches. 
we're gonna do a happy baby pose. If you can do that, um, to do that, we're going to lift our legs, our beautiful, wonderful legs that do us so much good, that take us where we need to go, that support us. We love your legs. All right, let's grab the outside of the foot and let's have our, foot, our feet flexed. So grab the outside of our feet with our hands and gently pull it down. If you can, have your shoulder against the floor, the ground, and just release. You can rock side to side. And if you're able to remember, hold on to that feeling of the love inside you, that will help you. And feel your lower back open up. And hopefully you can still feel your heart open up. So your heart is opening up. Your hip flexors are obviously opening up. Your shoulders, keep them relaxed. They're opening up. Everything is opening up. Feel yourself become vulnerable. Feel the love that you are holding onto. Feel it wash all over you. So much love. <sighs> Just release. Uh, if you this position gets uncomfortable, feel free to get out of it. You might want to tuck your knees in instead. Or you can do one foot at a time. Maybe you bend your one knee and then you bend the other one in the half, happy baby. If you do this, just try to keep yourself centered so you're not rolling over. You can keep centered and you can switch. Grab the other foot, the other half happy baby. Just relax. All right, now let's bring the soles of the feet together. And take some deep breaths in here. And what is really great for like digestion, is you make a fist. And then with that fist, you massage your belly and you go in a clockwise position and gently massage your belly. And you can get both hands and gently press onto your belly. You should also feel your lower back continue to release. You should feel like your spine is decompressing as your knees bend outward. And just relax, relax your hips, allow your knees to bend outward, feel your inner thigh stretching, feel your spine lengthening. You can even reach your arms way over your head. Just feel <sighs> this beautiful stretch, this expansion, feel your heart open, feel yourself being washed over with all this love. Now let's gently bring our knees together. And now I'd like us to attempt the plow, if we can. It's one of Mare's favorite exercises. Um, it is a little challenging. So why don't you just look and see what I'm doing first. All right, so we bring in our knees, extend the legs. Can I scoot all of us so you can see me? And then have our hands in on our side. And then we're going to, we can gently lift up the legs like we're doing a reverse crunch. And we can use our hands to support ourselves. And then in order to do a plow, we bend from the hip so that our legs come coming closer to us. And then we can kind of stretch it out, walk the legs out. We can bend them in like this. We can walk them to one side. We can walk them to the other side. So if this is too challenging for you, you can get a similar stretch by just like curling up like this or curling up on your back. But Mary personally has found the plow stretch to be very healing, very relaxing. When I get in this position, I used to feel anxious, like a claustrophobic thing, but I've learned to let go. So when Mare feels this fear, this tightness, Mare just lets go. 
And I think there's value in that. I think it's valuable to put yourself in safe, uncomfortable positions like yoga, not like being in an abusive relationship. That's not good. That's like a bad kind of discomfort. But that kind of discomfort like this, where it feels kind of scary, but you're able to breathe through it. This pose is also really good for the thyroid, stimulating the thyroid, obviously for stretching out the back, for stretching the neck. So while we're doing this, we need to relax the neck, soften the face, relax the shoulders. You can bring your hands together and kind of tuck your shoulders underneath you. Just play. Bend your knees towards your head. You give your head a little squeeze. You can walk your legs over to one side. What does that feel like? Walk around to the other side. What does that feel like? <sighs> what a beautiful pose. Gently come out of it. Maybe you can go to one side in a fetal position. Gently push yourself up. And now let's take a reverse stretch. If you need a moment, just chill. Deep breath. In, deep breath out. You gently stretch out that beautiful upper back. Curl yourself in. This is wonderful. All right. So we're gonna attempt what I think is called a camel pose. So, you know, get up on your knees if you want, you can get a pillow underneath your knees. For some reason, I don't feel like I need one, but you can if you choose to. Now, stretch your arm up, 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 up. And if you want, you can kind of lean one side and then the other, and then release. You can attempt to do both sides at around the same time. Or, if that's too much for you, just take your hands to the small of your back and then stretch this way. So on different levels ah, of what feels good to you. And it might feel kind of scary, like you're falling. But just breathe through it. Feel your body relax. And there's no shame. If you're at this level, that's great. That's wonderful. All right, now let's gently come out of this posture. Lean forward, bring your hands down to the ground. Whew. All right. I feel very relaxed. I hope you feel relaxed too. <laughs> All right. Ah. Let's move our spine a little bit more love. Just kind of gently rotate from side to side. Let's take one leg. I'm taking my left leg. I'm gonna cross it over in this nice little cozy position. I'm gonna take my left arm, raise it high, I'm gonna rotate, so I'm looking past my left shoulder. I'm gonna use my right hand to tuck in my left hip. I'm doing a gentle, gentle little spine stretch here. And while I'm doing this, I'm also relaxing, opening up the hips. <sighs> And for this stretch, it's really good you can close your eyes this time and just feel what this feels like. Feel your spine stretching. Feel your hip opening up. Feel your knee pressing into your elbow and vice versa. Try to lift up through the crown of your head, this beautiful posture. And then let's switch sides. Very gently, lovingly. I like to tuck in my left knee. I love tucking my left foot right there next to my hip. And then gently move my right hip in. We get a little hug, a little kiss. Because we love our knees, we love our hips, we love every part of our body. All right, bring this nice oh, knee in. Right arm goes up, 
stretch, 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 stretch behind you. Look over your right shoulder and breathe. And let's think of one more thing we're grateful for. Let's hold that in our heart. Whatever it is. And I'm thankful that I'm here right now. Maris, honored that you're here, that we're doing this beautiful, exploratory self-care together. All right, now let's gently bring our legs in front of us. Let's try to sit up tall if you can. That requires a lot of hamstring flexibility. So if you need a prop, you can get, you know, a pillow and kind of help yourself. You can maybe lean against a sofa or something. You can also bend your knees. That is also good if your hamstrings are tight. But if you can, you know, have your legs out long and just Beautiful, beautiful posture, lifting up. And now let's stretch. Let's gently sway to one side and the other if you can. This is also a good challenge. Keep your sitting bones down. Mm. And then think to yourself or say it out loud. I am beautiful. I am strong. Mm. I am flexible. All right, up our arms go. Let's very gently, maybe you can try to push your vertebrae back, open it up so you can really open up your hamstrings. All right, up, up, up we go and gently fold. I know folding can seem scary. It used to trigger an anxiety reaction in mirror. <sighs> kind of like the plow and the camel poses. Those are all good things to work through. Learn to become comfortable with your body. So if you need to bend your knees, great, do it. If you're able to keep them straight, it's also good. Be able to flex your feet, that's even better. So here we go. Gently bend forward. And just release. And let's try to point our feet. Oh, like beautiful ballet dancers. <laughs> bend and if you can a little challenge it tries to give your knees some kisses which of course requires you to bend quite low but Mary thinks it's worth it try to bend from your hips so you can protect your back all right now let's flex our feet and if you can grab onto the toes or grab onto the arches and then Try to push your feet forward like you were driving a car and you're pushing your foot down onto the gas pedal. Just push your feet and then oh, feel your upper back open up. And also your lower back. Push, 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 push. Might want to do a little bit of side to side. Mm, feel it. Now if you can, let your elbows bend and really stretch those calves again. <sighs> Mare has super tight calves. Mare's right Achilles heel gets super tight. <laughs> it's horrible. It's like a structural problem. Mm, so it's really good to relax. And you also will, of course, feel it in those hamstrings, which is really important because most people do not have proper alignment because their hamstrings are so tight, it messes up their posture. So if you can relax your hamstrings, you are on your way to better posture, which is so important for balance, for our muscles, for our proprioception, for our spinal health, so we don't get spine problems later on, so we don't get neck problems, knee problems. It's all connected. <laughs> all right, now let's, we can sit up straight, or maybe you get some yoga blocks too, if you need some yoga blocks. All right, just kind of gently Roll a little bit down if you can. Roll back up. Gently fold. Gently roll back. If you can do this with your hands up, like a little ab exercise, that's really cool. If you need your hands down, if you need to bend, that's okay too. Work at your level, work at your own pace. 
All right. Now, if you can't transition, transition. If you can't, you know, do what you can, right? In fact, let's all take this into a sort of a middle split of sorts. All right. You can have good posture up with the hands, gently laying to one side. Again, both sitting bones are on the floor. Take it to one side. If you can lift, uh, see I'm folded to my right side, my left side, excuse me. Take my right hand up, ah, grab that left foot. You can kind of look up at yourself. That's a good aspirational stretching. <laughs> And while we're here, let's visualize what joy feels like. We did love earlier, let's do joy. So we think of a joyful time for you. And what did that feel like? What did that feel like in your body? And can we recreate that feeling of joy in our body? Like, can we be joyful right now that we're here? Can we be joyful to have these wonderful bodies? Oh, squish. Oh. Lean over. Mm. Beautiful. Right side, maybe. I don't like those. Give a little kiss. Mm. Okay. Let me bring my knee up for the kiss. All right. Bring the left arm up and over. Grab that right foot. Look up if you can. And then back to that joy. What does joy feel like in your body? Is it like a tingling? Is it a warmth? Is it an excitement? Is it a contentment? Is it a quiet assurance that your life is awesome? Whatever it is, just hold on to that feeling. Feeling of joy. And now let's go back up to the center. And if you can, I know this is not most people's favorite exercise, but gently walk your hands out. To whatever feels comfortable. Like, if this is it, good for you. Awesome. If you can go a little bit further out, that's also good. Just play with it. What does it feel like? Maybe go, maybe kind of slide up and down. And then just relax, let go. Put your palms up if you can. Just let go. Feel yourself melting into the earth. need to come up out of it that's okay um so helpful for me is I will bring in my legs and then bring them out and that would give my hip flexors a bit of a break and also just made me feel good <laughs> uh, you know that circulation the more dynamic instead of the static stretching all right and now if you like to come back up or you can stay down your choice let's point and then flex our beautiful, amazing feet. Let's get up and then let's do some circles. Pick us, pick a direction and gently move your feet in that direction. If you can, try to stay, you know, sitting tall. If it's more comfortable for you to bring your feet in, bring your legs in and circle like this. That's good too. All right, now let's switch directions. And I think a lot of people neglect their ankles, which is not good. <laughs> because if you don't strengthen your ankles over time, you will not be walking as well. And you're setting yourself up for more, for higher risk of injuring yourself by falling or by spraining your ankle. So this is really, really important, okay? <laughs> and most of these ones you can do anytime, but this one is super subtle. You can be like watching TV, binging Netflix, and just do your angle circles, because they're super important. Because you do not want to fall, you don't want to slip, your ankles are important for your posture, for setting up a good foundation. All right, do a little more flexing, pointing, 
flexing and pointing, you might feel some warmth gathering in your ankles. That's good. <laughs> That's really good. All right, you can wiggle your toes a little bit. Wiggle your fingers. All right, now let's get into the position and you can watch me first. So see, I have my toes tucked in and I have my feet flexed. And what I'm gonna do is just like sit back. And it's really opening up the feet. So that's really important. Mm, yeah. All right. So let's stay here for a little bit. Um, you know, you might not be able to stay here very long. You can get out of it. You can gently tuck your toes in. Kind of roll back and forth. You can see what I'm doing. And then get back into it. Flex your feet. Whew. And while we're here, let's do a little bit of visualization or at least a vibration holding. And so think of something that you really want. And maybe you want success in a new project you're starting. Maybe you want a certain conversation to go really well. Maybe you want to improve your love life. You want to find time for a new hobby. Whatever it is. Think about it and either visualize what it would look like if everything went well, if you met the new love of your life. No, I say new. It may sound like you're leaving someone. Well, whatever the situation is, no judgment. <laughs> I'm not saying imagine a better boyfriend or something. I'm just saying like whatever your heart's desire is to write a book, to travel the world, to have children, whatever it is. <sighs> Visualize what it feels like. Visualize what it would look like and then just hold the space of what it would feel like. Doing a little bit of visualization here. Holding space. What does it feel like if your dreams came true? And just be in that happy space. You can kind of lean back, put some more pressure on those beautiful feet that we love. That would be great. And just feel the arches open. Mm, it's a very good feeling. It might be a weird feeling if you're not used to it, but tell yourself it's a good feeling. Obviously, if you're experiencing pain, that's not a good feeling. But just the opening up, the release, oh, that's a good feeling. Speaking of release, let's work our, let's gently release our quadriceps. And there are different levels to this. So first, the, I guess the most advanced level. <laughs> I'll just go right into it. So if you can do it, do it with me. Otherwise, I will show you the modification. And that is, you know, keep these legs tucked in. And gently lean back and tuck in your pelvis, tuck in your booty, gently lower to the ground. <sighs> this feels good. Even though Mary has knee problems, somehow this feels good. Ah, you can massage your belly a bit more. You can turn your head from side to side. Well, that feels good. Even though our neck's pretty relaxed already. Like, you know, that's not enough. Um, to get more distressed, you can continue to tuck in your pelvis. You can kind of, kind of from side to side, almost like you're doing a bridge. You can push one leg up, push the other thigh up. It's kind of a subtle motion. Let's see, I'm pushing up one side and then I'm pushing up on the other side. Kind of rotate back and forth. Okay, if that's difficult for you, which it might be, no judgment. Uh, you can also stretch your quads by lying down on your belly. And then just bring one leg in, tuck it in. You can do both of them in if you want, or you can do one at a time. If you do one at a time, you can, whatever hand you're not using, arm you're not using, you can lay it down and rest your head on it, look the other way, and that feels good. Nice. 
again, everything we talked about so far, soften your face, relax your neck, open your heart, open your shoulder, girdle, attention to your breath, lengthen your breathing, you can switch sides if you'd like, you know, feel the love, feel the joy, surrender yourself, be present with yourself. And be confident in yourself. Let's do another affirmation. This affirmation is going to be, I am brave. So repeat it. Say it in your head. Say it in your heart. Proclaim it to your soul that you are brave. You can rotate your ankle a little bit more if you like. All right. Gently come up. Mm. Do some playful movement, whatever feels good to you. <sighs> We're almost at the end. Of course, I hope you will continue to hold the love, the joy, the gratitude, the presence, the self-care feelings with you. <sighs> All right, let's go on your back. Uh, now, we are going to do something kind of silly. Let's put our legs up in the air, put our arms up in the air, and let us shake. This might feel really silly, really weird. You might feel your core turn on, but just shake it, shake it, shake. Uh, I'm still keeping my head still. I don't want to get a concussion from TBI here, so I'm keeping my head still. But I can feel my arms, my legs, my wrists, my toes are shaking. Shake, shake, shake. All right, just one more breath of shaking. All right, so hopefully you can feel the air, feel the presence. All right, stop. Hopefully you feel super relaxed now. Let's stretch our legs out long. Stretch our arms out long, palms facing upward, chin tucked to chest. Let's just relax. And hopefully you see now that all the shaking, even though it's kind of silly, it helped prepare you for this. There's all this tension, all this movement. And now there's no more movement. There's stillness, calmness, peace. So let's try to hold some peace right now. Maybe recall a peaceful moment. What did it feel like? What did it feel like in your body to have this peaceful moment? Let's just hold this peace right now. <sighs> Take some deep breaths. And now that you are worthy of peace, of joy, of love, you're worthy of self-care, hopefully you have been able to affirm your love for yourself, for your physical body, for your heart, for you. And it is my hope that this video brings you to a beautiful place. Mer is at a beautiful place right now. Mm. May I love herself. May I feel so good. May I feel so beautiful. Let's stretch our arms, our legs, oh, from one side to the other. Gently, lovingly, compassionately, 
you know, even if you have to make modifications and you take breaks, it's all part of compassion for yourself. That's more important. So yeah, being able to hit all the poses perfectly, maybe even better form than rare, is awesome, right? It's so awesome. Let's just, like I'm, as you see me doing, just gently do movement that feels good to you. Mm. Uh -oh. I love myself so much. Mm. It's a rollover. Well, you don't have to do this. Mary likes this position. <laughs> so Mary's going to get into her favorite position. Thank you for joining me. Oh, I'm so happy that you're here. If you've made it this far, thank you. But even just making this video has been therapeutic for Mare. So even if like no one made it this far, well, Mare did, right? Mare made it this far. No one else did. That's okay. Mare's cool with that. If you, if you watched five seconds of this video and then was like, nope, that's okay. You know, I hope that you found a way to be blessed regardless. But if you are here, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Obviously, there were so many more stretches that Mare loves that we did not have time to do. I mean, we could do more, <laughs> but let's save that for another video. <laughs> so I hope it's pretty comprehensive for you working a bunch of parts of the body that maybe you ignore and maybe didn't realize it was important to work the rest and the ankles and you know shoulders as much so hopefully you learn some new things here thank you so much for being here for showing up for yourself i wish you an amazing rest of your day rest of your week rest of your month your year your life mary loves you so much Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. <laughs> Let there be beauty, joy, happiness, peace, love, all the good things in your life always. <sighs> and Mayor hopes to see you again soon. Bye-bye.